What's going on guys, John Alder here from Konami.com and in this video, we're going to look at a push for our blackjack game with Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video we're going to look at a push, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Kodobi.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership with all my courses, videos, and books, one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at a push. And a push, there's several different versions of push, but in this video, we're going to look at right at the beginning when the game is first dealt, if both player and dealer get a blackjack, that's a tie. We have to sort of account for that, and that's what we're going to do in this video. So I'm not going to click this button a zillion times until we get a push for both players. Uh, we're just going to kind of hope that this is correct and go from there. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and a Get Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Kinter videos in this series, over 200, so check those out if you haven't so far. So I've just got the code that we had in the last video, so if you didn't see that, look at the playlist. And I've renamed it Blackjack 3. It was Blackjack 2 before. So we come down here in our blackjack shuffle function, we can see we've got stuff for the dealer and stuff for the player. And this is where we determine, hey, if it's 21 right off the bat, right when you shuffle at the beginning of the game, we say, hey, the dealer wins. Same thing with the player. If the player gets 21 right off the bat, hey, the player wins automatically. So we need to tinker with this a little bit. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to comment out all of this stuff. So we don't want to throw up a message box right away, and we don't want to disable the buttons right away. But we do want to come down here and do a little something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create just a basic Python dictionary. And we're going to have a dealer key value pair and a player key value pair in our dictionary. And you know Python dictionaries, they're made up of key value pairs. So we could just come up here and actually let's do this in our shuffle section. So let's uh, keep track of winning. I don't know. <laughs> right? And I'm going to create a global... And I'm going to make this global so we can access this everywhere. And I'm just going to call this blackjack underscore status. I don't know, something like that. And so let's go blackjack underscore status equals, and this is going to be a Python dictionary. And like I said, we want a dealer key value pair, and I'm going to set that equal to no right off the bat. And we also want a player key value pair. And I'm also going to set that to no right off the bat. So every time we shuffle, start over, this will reset to no and no. So if the dealer gets 21 when they shuffle right off the bat, we're going to change this to yes. If the player gets 21, we'll change this to yes. If they both get 21, they'll both be yes. And then we could just test against that. We could say, hey, if they're both 21, that's a tie. That's a push. Otherwise, if one of them's 21, that one wins, etc. So, okay, we've got this thing. So... Let's come back here and we want to make a little change to this whenever either of the players gets 21. So let's say uh, update status and we can call a key value pair from our dictionary just by calling it. So we could set it equal to anything we want. We could just say yes, right? So we're going to do the same thing down here for our player. If the player gets 21, then player will equal yes. Okay, so now outside of these two if statements, we just want to come down here and let's just test if either of these are yes or if both of them are yes. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure all the cards are dealt, right? So each player has two cards. So we can do that by referencing this len thing right here. So I'm just going to say here, I'm going to go if len dealer score equals two and len say player score equals two. That means both players have gotten both of their two cards. And uh, we can now do another if statement and we could say, hey, what's the status of this stuff? So I'm gonna copy this. We could say if blackjack underscore status of the dealer is yes and blackjack underscore status of the player is yes, right? Then it's a tie, right? So let's say, it's a push slash tie, whatever, right? What do we want to do if it's a tie? Well, let's throw up a message box. So I'll just copy this message box here. And let's say push, it's a tie, whatever, right? So then we probably also want to disable these buttons. So I'll put that back, uncomment those out. Okay, and that's all we have to do. So elif 
Now we just need to go through and do these individual. If they're both not yes, then we have to check to see if one of them is or not, right? So let's start with the dealer. So let's say this guy. So elif blackjack underscore status of the dealer is yes. Well, that means the dealer has won, right? So we could just copy this stuff from earlier. Get rid of it there and pop it in there. Tab these over correctly, get rid of the comments. And a hey, dealer wins, right? So here, let's say check for push slash tie, whatever you want to call that. Here, let's say check for dealer win. Right? And then finally, we want to check for player win. And again, we just come up here and let's grab this. Actually, we just grab all of this, right? So pop this in. And here, let's go L if. Make this into an if statement. And then make sure these are all tabbed correctly. Okay. So I think that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and save this and test it. Blackjack underscore three dot pi. Head back over to our terminal. And let's go Python black jack underscore three dot pi. Uh oh, line 36. What did we do? I thought we went through that pretty quick. So line 36, if blackjacks, oh, we need double equal two signs, man. There we go. Uh, same thing down here for each of these, we're going to need double equal two signs there and there. All right, that looks good. Let's try this again. Clear the screen to run this guy. Okay, so let's shuffle. I'm just going to shuffle up. Oh, there we go. Blackjack player wins ace and king. There you go. Let's do it again. Make sure up oh, there's player wins again. Let's do it again until we get a dealer win. Yeah, there it is. And uh, pretty simple. So I assume this is going to work. I think it's going to work. I kind of thought about it for about a minute and a half. So, you know, lots of planning went into this <laughs> as always. Uh, but I didn't come through here and click this a thousand times until I got a hand they had both the dealer and the player getting blackjack. So I'm not sure 1000% that this will work, but it should. I mean, why not? Very simple code here. Uh, but if one of you guys wants to come through here and just hit the shuffle button a zillion times until you get a confirmation of blackjack from both player and dealer, if that happens, then let's see if we head back over to the code, it should say push. It's a tie in the little box that pops up, right? <laughs> Otherwise, uh, let me know if that worked or not, but I think it should work. This is pretty simple. And that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Kodomi.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So it's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Kodomi.com, and I'll see you in the next video.